This episode goes out to Yukine. Yukine, freaking Digivolve. I, I knew, I told you guys from last video that Yukine would not die. Because something tells me Regalias don't die that easily. He pretty much transformed, evolved, digivolved, whatever you want to call it. He advanced. He is now a dual wielding blade. He is a blessed regalia. I guess is when you prove the ultimate loyalty to your master, you pretty much upgrade like that. You're willing to risk your life. You're willing to do something that no one else is ready to do in order to get things done. And that's exactly what Yukine did. And looking at him now, back from the last season, how he was like, Always um, hurting Yato, causing him to be um, damaged and cursed. He's totally an um, upgrade man. He's no longer, he's more respectful, he's more loyal. He's everything you expect out of his loyal servant now, but it's more like a family thing, like a father and a child thing that's going on. And I believe there's one more episode for his arc to wrap up because Kuha's plan. Kuha's plan would have worked if it wasn't for Aya pretty much having that guilt trip, meaning she didn't like what she was doing anymore. Because all she really wanted was attention. Because there are so many regalias that Bishamon has that there's no way she knows every one of them. For instance, if one of them dies, all she can tell is that one of them died. But she don't know which one because she has way too many. And the problem was that if you care so much about them, how can you not remember any of their names? How can you not know who they are? So all this would have happened if she did not snitch. His plan, Kuha's plan, would have went straight forward. But luckily, Kazuma and Hinori finally escaped and explained everything. I mean, this episode had everything. It had those tear jerking moments. It had a lot of action, a lot of closure. Cl finally closure. I mean, like, the match between Yato and Bishamon is over with. So all that's left is catch Kuha and everything will be finally said and done. The question is, is what did Nora gain from this? What did Nora want from Kuha in order for her to cooperate with him? Like, I wonder what the deal was. Because all it seems like Kuha had everything under control. I guess he asked Nora for a masked phantom. And since it's really hard to kill a masked phantom, you can't just use your borders to stop a masked phantom. Because they're very stronger than the regular phantoms. I guess it's something to do with the mask, I guess. But, well, anyways, um, freaking Yukinate's upgrade looks sweet, man. Dual willing. There's nothing like. Having two swords to make you look like a total badass. So yeah, man. One more episode and this arc is finally done. So I guess the remaining 12 will be um, of the other guy we've seen in the opening. So I grade this episode a freaking 9 out of 10 again. It was great. It was very fast paced. Like When I started to watch it, it was already done with. And yet I want to see more. Because it seems like... Norigami's finally taking itself seriously, like it still has its laps, but then yet again, it still has its serious points for you to enjoy it as well. So now you're more hyped up, you're ready for that conclusion to happen, and they're leaving those cliffhangers to keep you wanting more. And that's how you do good pacing within a story. So yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I can't wait for next Friday to watch it again. So anyways, if you like this video, please rate, comment, subscribe, share if you could. I'll be much obliged. This is Macron Anime, signing out.